Hi, this is Sean Bartz, and we're today looking at a pretty great Rube Goldberg machine called the Swish Machine. And we're going to go through all the physics that we see here. All right, so right off the bat, we see projectile motion, where we have a ball that's flying through the air. The only force that is on the ball while it's in the air is a downward force of gravity, but it's moving in two dimensions, so it's going to take a parabolic path. All right, so uh, he has to shoot it at the correct velocity and angle so that that path passes through the basket. All right, now in this part we have this ball starts rolling down an incline. And uh, it's going to be rolling without slipping. So it starts out with gravitational potential energy. And that's going to turn into kinetic energy, both translational and rotational. So that would be the best way to try and figure out how fast the ball is going to be going uh, when it reaches the bottom. And now that was a great example of an elastic collision. Right? When the ball uh, hits the bowling pin, the kinetic energy is going to be conserved. Now it's not going to be perfectly elastic because in the real world, we know some of that energy is going to be lost to sound, but it's pretty elastic. Um, and because the ball is less massive, or I, I can tell that the ball is less massive than the bowling pin because it bounces backward. If it were uh, more massive, both of the objects would continue moving in the same direction that the ball was moving initially. Right, here we have a bike wheel that's rolling without slipping, and as we watch it move, uh, we know that the velocity of the center of mass is going to be equal to the velocity, uh, the rotational velocity of the outside edge. If we look at uh, this ball that is uh, on a pendulum, right, we have a, a tension force that is pointed at an angle up, and where I have it freeze-framed here, it's up and to the right slightly, and we know gravity is going to point straight downward. So the tension force is only going to balance out some component of the force of gravity. And so now the ball is, is experiencing um, a, a net force, and so it's going to have an acceleration that is directed back towards um, where the string would be vertical. Right, so even though it's moving up at this point, it's got a velocity that is in the you know up into the left direction. The acceleration it would be down into the right, meaning that it is uh, because those point in opposite directions, the ball is slowing down. 